featuring two teams that have already clinched playoff berths, but hoping to up their seating with just two games to go. District 1-5A Division 2, Chapin traveling to El Paso High in second and third place, respectively trailing Canatillo. The Huskies trying to inch closer to that two seed. The Tigers trying to stay in the hunt for a district championship. They will get Canatillo next week. Adam, let's roll the tape. It's our nine overtime game of the week. You mentioned it, uh, both teams here, uh, clinched the playoff spot already. El Paso High is postseason bound, guys, for the first time since 2013. No doubt a huge deal for Ray Aguilar's program in his third year since coming over from San Elizario, but Chapin always a tough out. They were up 14 to 6 at the 50 yard line, and this is Davion Singleton, the freshman on fourth and one, Jason, doing his thing. The freshman phenom, Ed. This guy has had the best last four or five games I've ever seen, and I think it's time, man. It's time. Davion Singleton, you are now Stansbury certified. Oh, my goodness. Two freshmen, Stansbury certified in one year. The pass broken up there by Brett Hallman, and then this is Singleton on uh, going for it on fourth down. They would fumble it to El Paso High. Cyrus Mejia would recover. El Paso High marching down the field, fourth and six. Ronze Johnson, though, will get stuffed by that Chapin defense, forcing a turnover on downs. And Chapin trying to get one more score before the break. Five seconds left in the second quarter. Singleton to Savion Jordan. El Paso High's Justin Soto with the big hit. Chapin but going to half with a 21 to six lead. Third quarter, Chapin at the three yard line. Singleton with the rushing touchdown. They go up 28 to six. And uh, guys, we're obviously talking a lot about Mr. Singleton today, but this defense for Chapin Ed coming up big, right? especially right there. Yeah, no, I was very impressed with this Chapin defense. Seeing them out there, I made a comment to Jason earlier uh, that this secondary is probably the biggest secondary here in El Paso. Awesome there, and then in the ensuing drive, it'll be Singleton, his fifth rushing touchdown of the night right there. There's gonna be some Division I programs knocking on his door very soon. Chapin wins in a route. 42 to 6. Our very own Sam Guzman, or is it? Andy Morgan is standing by with the winning team, the Chapin Huskies, presented by Johnny Caribas. Our nine overtime game of the week. The Chapin Huskies with a huge 42 to six win over El Paso High. I'm now joined by a winning head coach uh, for the Chapin Huskies, Ryan Warner. Uh, coach Warner, just what was working for you guys? Obviously, one kid had a really special game, but you know, just overall, what just worked for you guys today? You know, I thought there was a good flow to the game. Defense, you know, stepped up, shut the run down. Offense, we were able to open up some space. Um, you know, the run game got going, and then from there, it just opened up the back end, and, and we were able to take advantage of what they were giving us at the time and then offensively uh, Davion Singleton just <laughs> five rushing touchdowns just what's going through your head when you uh, see the performance he had tonight you know honestly I didn't know how many it was until um, about the fourth quarter and I asked my coaches like how many is on the last one and they said oh, that's five and, and I was like wow that you know it's a special game that's a special player so um, you know yeah I was I was definitely surprised to hear five and then you know put the, the runs together and I said okay yeah that, that makes sense he was in there while right now and speaking of the freshman congratulations on the win first of all bring in the uh, freshman, uh, Davion Singleton. Uh, are you sure you're a freshman, Davion? Are you sure? Yeah, let me bring you in closer. Are you a freshman? Uh, just what got into you today, man? Um, we started off a little slow, so I know how to pick up the pace. So I just had to turn up for my team and just let, the, just let them know we weren't here to play. Uh, and just what was going through your mind once you found the end zone for the fifth and uh, final time? Um, I was feeling good. I wanted more passing touchdowns, but it's all good at the end of the day. We still got the W. Fair enough. I think I, I like to call it the Singleton Show. Does that work for you? Yes, sir. Awesome. Fair enough, Davion. Thank you for the time and uh, congratulations on the win. All right, guys. Well, uh, freshman, I can't believe it, but uh, youngster, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a built Ford Tough Player of the Week uh, next week. I'd put my money on it. But anyways, I uh, can. Uh, excuse me, Chapin escapes with a 42 to six win over El Paso High. So very exciting and great performance from the Huskies. We'll send things back to you in the studio, Colin.